Hello guys, I'm Rebel and welcome back to Anybody Can Code Python series. In this episode, we'll be discussing about sets in Python. Well, a set is considered as a collection of unordered unique elements. But the elements of a set should be of immutable objects. What do you think is the use of sets? Unlike other data types in Python, sets are mostly used to remove duplicates from a list of values. And also, they are mainly used to perform mathematical computations like union, intersection, and much more. Now, let's go ahead and create an empty set. Sets must be enclosed within curly braces. Now, let's print it. Click on run. And guys, you can also create a set by using the set method. Now, let's add some elements that are of different data types by using the add method. Set one dot add off. Since sets only accept immutable data, let's add a string and a number. Face prep set one dot add off. Let's add let's add some number. A float value to now run it. So the elements have been added. Now, suppose if you want to add the elements at one go, you can use the update method. Set one dot update of inside the curly braces. Let's add a number and let's add a let's add the same string face prep click on run here you get to notice two important things firstly the elements of a set are not displayed in the same order in which they were initialized because the elements of a set are unordered and unindexed since sets are unindexed you cannot perform indexing or slicing over the elements of a set. And secondly, although you have initialized the string face prep twice, it has returned it only once because sets tend to ignore repeating entries, thereby avoiding duplication. Now, let's try to delete an element from this set by using the remove method. Set one dot add off. Remove off. Let's remove the string face prep. Click on run. So it has removed. And similarly, you can also delete elements of a list by using several other methods, such as pop, which will delete only the last element. Clear will delete all the elements of a set. Del will delete the entire set. Finally, the discard method is alone quite new and different. Let's see how it works. Set one dot discard off. Face prep. So on using the discard method, it does not throw any error when you try to remove an element that is not present in the set. Instead, it simply returned all the remaining elements. Now let's look at some of the set operations like union, intersection, difference, symmetric difference. So now let's create two sets to perform all these operations. 
S1 is equal to let me give 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 set 2 is equal to let's give 4 comma 5 comma 6 7 and 8 Firstly, union. Union will concatenate all the elements of S1 with all the elements of S2. Let's see how to do it. S1 dot union of S2. Let's print it. You can also use you can also use the union symbol S1 union S2. Click on run. As you can see, the elements 4 and 5 are displayed only once as they are repeating in both the sets. Now, let's perform intersection. Intersection of two sets would return the elements that are common in both of the sets. So here 4 and 5 are common. Let's see what it gives. Let's replace union with intersection. And the symbol for intersection would be ampersand. Click on run. So we got 4 and 5. The next set operation difference on S1 and S2 will return all the elements of S1 but not S2. So now let's replace intersection with the difference. And the symbol for difference would be minus. Click on run. So all the elements of S1 has been displayed. Now, symmetric difference on S1 and S2 will give all the elements except those that are common in both. So, in the same way, let's replace difference with symmetric difference and its symbol would be cap. Click on run. So, the elements that are common are 4 and 5. So, only those have been neglected. And guys, to better understand about sets, let's write a program to check whether a given string is a pangram or not. A pangram is nothing but a sentence that contains all the alphabets from A to Z. For example, this is one of the famous pangrams that contains all the letters from A to Z. So, even if one of the letter is missing, it must return false. Let's assign this to a variable named input is equal to the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog and then let's create a function named pangram and pass this input and inside this, let's convert this input into lower case by using the lower method. I'll explain the reason behind this conversion later on. For now, let's proceed. And now, convert the string into a set by using the set method. Now, let's print and check what's in there. Print of input. Click on run. Oh, I forgot to call the function. Click on run. So, this is nothing but all the unique elements from the given string. Since it has written in an unordered way, to better understand, we can also convert this into an ordered way by using the sorted method. So, 
sorted and also let's print the length of the string length of input click on run so here you can see that it has written all the alphabets from a to z and also written 27 which is nothing but the sum of 26 letters and one space now let's use list comprehension to check whether all the 26 alphabets are present in the given string. So this is the syntax of list comprehension. First, let's assign the iteration value as a range. Ranging from a comma z but you cannot directly loop through the letters a to z so in such a case you can use unicode values a character can be converted into a unicode by using the ordinal method like this ord of let this be the start value and ord of z plus 1 be the stop value. I have added a 1 here in the stop value because always the last index is ignored. Now let me print this and show for i in range print i i will be the unicode value let's also print the character assigned with it by using the char method chr of i click on run so the unicode values of lower case a to z is ranging from 97 till 122 so this is the reason why we converted the input string into lower case. So the logic is that when all of these numbers are present in the given string, then it is a pangram. Otherwise it is not. Now let's complete this list comprehension. Let's assign this to a variable named alpha. And give quotes here. And then replace expression with a variable ch and member with a variable ch in input if odd of ch. Now let's introduce an if condition to check whether the length of this list comprehension is equal to 26 or not. Len of alpha is equal to 26 then return true. Else return False. Let's call this function in a print statement. Click on run.
it has written true because it is a pangram. Now let's remove some alphabets here. and click on run it has written false because all the 26 letters are not present in the given string now this list comprehension can also be replaced with set comprehension so let's remove the square brackets and replace it with curly braces so this will return unique elements as such so there will be no need for this set method let's remove it let's also remove this click on run it return false so that's how you can use set comprehension which in turn reduce the number of lines used in our program so that's all for today stay tuned and see you all in the next hey youtube how are you doing stay tuned to facebook for more awesome videos don't forget to subscribe